Let's take a look at using our ML controls to control our non-intensity parameters. Uh, you'll notice there is an ML control button on our face panel, and that will open up your ML controls in your CIA area. If you have a channel selected, that's going to show you all of the parameters that that fixture is able to do. Uh, and you can see that you can scroll back and forth to get access to those, uh, but it's kind of a condensed area. So another thing that we can do is hit ML controls to close that. We can add an ML controls tab. So I'll hit my add a tab. You can see ML controls right here. And that opens up that same display in a much larger area. What gets displayed in ML controls is based on what channels you have selected. Uh, and that corresponds to your patch. So for example, because I patched a moving light in channel 111, I can now see all the parameters that that moving light has. When I grab other channels, I'll see which parameters they have based on what I've patched in that channel. So let's look at channel one. And as you can see, as a dimmer, I only get an intensity. If we look at channel 21, which has a scroller on it, you can see that I have intensity as well as the color parameter, which shows me my scroller and all the frames. Grabbing channel 31, I also get intensity and color, but this is a seven color LED fixture. So I get all of my LEDs as well as a color picker. Channel 51 is also an LED fixture, but it's just red, green, and blue. So I get my color picker as well as those parameters. And then finally, grabbing something like a moving light, I can see all the parameters that are available. So let's look at the different areas of the ML controls. You'll notice over in this area, uh, I have all of my navigation. So for example, if my ML controls are open in my CIA and I want to get to my image area, clicking that will drag me straight over to those parameters. So let's look at intensity, for example. Uh, my wheel below uh, allows me to roll that up or roll that down. I also have a max and a min. Looking at focus, I have a pan and tilt graph and I can drag a fixture around to focus it, or I can use my pan and tilt encoders. In my color picker area, uh, I can click to mix colors of the fixture. And also over here, I have my gel picker. So if I click that area, I get my list of gels that are available. So for example, if I go into Roscoe Lux, I now have all the different gels that are available in Roscoe. So I can pick a matching color. Again, if I want to adjust individual color parameters, I have access to those here on the wheel. If I want to give a parameter a specific value, I can actually click on the title to get that onto the command line. So if I say 111, magenta, 50, enter, that parameter goes to the value of 50. Further down are your gobo selections. So you can see little thumbnails of the gobos that are loaded into my fixture. So maybe I want to pick that guy. And it also allows me to pick the mode that that gobo is working in. So if I'm rotating it or spinning it, I can select those modes in this area right here. Keep in mind that if you have a touchscreen, all this is available via touch as well.